it seemed like team wide the team was lacking aggression. What would you? How would you explain that? Uh, I I mean I think guys just uh we just got to stay confident. Um, and I think guys guys are going to continue to stay confident. It was just you know tough. I think guys kind of got maybe a little discouraged. Um, you know we was going in there like we normally do, and they was a. Uh, athletic and they were blocking our shots and I don't think we were used to seeing that um obviously Big 12 is very athletic but uh it's just different and uh, I think guys just kind of got tentative then and we just kept pushing and the uh, coach kept pushing us just keep going keep being aggressive and uh I think that's what we just we just didn't make enough plays you know we did a great job you know uh like coach said we had only had five turnovers so he said that's just a game you know where we just have to make better decisions and uh, maybe take a little better shots did there def different defensive looks throw you guys off any switching from uh, man to zone? Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, the coach told us we were really prepared. You know, coach, we had a – we worked on that every day in practice. You know, they switched from man to zone to 2-3, uh, sometimes 1-3-1 one, one to man to man. So we were really prepared. We just – it was just one of those days for us. I, I really can't explain anything else, you know. It was just um, one of those nights for us. You know, we tried to play as hard as we can. Give it all we got. We're gonna gonna keep fighting. You know, obviously we're not gonna quit for Coach Weber. So, and how would you explain your night? How you kind of got things going and and got rolling? Uh, I kind of just just uh kept uh, getting rebounds, kept pushing it, just try to keep getting in the lane and making plays. And uh, I was having success with that. You know, um, getting to the basket. You know, playing off two feet and playing under control. And I was uh focused on making my shots at the rim. And obviously made some free throws as well. Thanks, Mark. No problem. Uh, next question to tell us. Hey, Mark, what are some of the other things you guys can do to be more active in the paint um, against some of these teams that have bigger lineups? Uh, obviously, you know, we are playing a smaller lineup, but I just think you know, we're physical, we're strong. And uh, I just think when we're playing a bigger team, we uh, – we have a thin margin for error. You know, we have to do all the little things right. We can't do our own thing. You know, everyone's got to box out. Everyone's got to be in their gap. I just think it's just the little things. You know, when you're trying to win at this level, you know, you have a thin margin for error. And that's what coach always tells us, you know, stick to our principles and, you know, have a standard. And uh, I think we just got to do a better job of that, you know, uh, just focusing on the little things. And it was critical times, you know, where we started to make a run or cut it down. And we just picked up on defense, you know, helping. We just, uh, we're going to keep working. I think, you know, guys are, are pretty angry. And it, I mean, today, you and Nigel both had quite a bit of production. Seems kind of like every game, two or three, you guys play really well, and everybody else kind of tapers off a little bit. Can you put your finger on why that is, or is there any, any I don't know, any uh, reason to that? No, uh, really, you know, my game, I just try to get downhill, knock open shots down, um, obviously try to help Nigel, because obviously Nigel, he's so consistent, and, you know, uh, guys really expect that So from Nigel. So uh, we got to help him, and uh, – that, that's all I try to do. I try to help my brother out. You know, I know it's tough, you know, running the team. And you can tell now he's getting a little more, you know, passionate. Like, uh, he's really becoming a leader on the court. And uh, it's great to see. So, obviously, yeah, I just try to – I just play my game. You know, it's great to play out there with Nigel. You know, I feel like we, we feed off each other. You know, we know each other's spots and how to get each other the ball. So. And last one for me, what was uh, Coach's message after the game? Um, Obviously, Coach's message uh, was like he believes in us, and uh, I th we believe too as well. And you know, he kept saying, you know, guys, just keep fighting. We got ten more games left, or 10, 11 games left in conference to, 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 you know, make a run and you know make our mark. And uh, I think everyone believes, you know, we're not going to quit for Coach Weber, and we also believe that we can make the run with these last ten games as a team. And I think, uh, you know, the next game we play Oklahoma State, and we're going to come ready to go. And that's really was what the message was, you know, not too much talking. Um, we're just going to, we're going to be ready and we got to have coaches back. You know, that's for one. And that's all, all I can say. We're going to keep fighting for Coach Weber no matter what. Obviously, you all know how he is, but that doesn't really matter. You know, I, well, this is a player led team and we're going to fight for our coach. Right. Hey, thanks, Mark. Uh, next question to Arnie. Yeah, Mark, uh, you talked about the the lack of turnovers, but 
was some of that maybe in the first half just not being aggressive enough, do you think, where you may be settling a little bit? It seemed like in the second half, uh, you held your own on the boards also when you when you started going to the basket more. Yeah, um, obviously, uh, like, uh, you know, like we've seen from recent games when we get in the paint and uh, we get paint touches, we score at a really high percentage. And uh, we just, the first half we was, when we went in there, they, he was coming over blocking our shots or they was blocking our shots and we kind of started settling for threes or jump shots. And the second half we changed it. When we got in that paint and attack, we saw we could get in there and finish. And then I think it started to open things up for us. We just, it was just critical moments. We just couldn't push, push forward. Thanks. No problem. Uh, next question to Cole. Yeah, Mark, I was just curious. We've seen five really good halves of basketball from you guys with the Texas Tech game, the Texas game, then the first half of the Kansas game. What's the key to maintaining that consistency? Uh, I think, uh, I think you know, what's going to be important for us is, you know, when we rebound and we get out and play confidently and just have each other's back, swinging the ball one more. Um, the first half we had, I think we had nine assists uh, out of our 10 field goals and one turnover, something like that. Like when we get out and play and move the ball and stuff, we're a really fun team. And obviously def defense, that's gonna be our, our thing. That's our, that's our thing is shutouts. And uh, that's really gonna help us push forward. And obviously in the Kansas game, we were guarding really well. Texas Tech, we guarded really well in the Texas game. So we just got to get back to that and having that energy again. And uh, I think, you know, we're going to get that back here soon. Thanks, Mark. Any other questions for Mark? Okay. Thanks, Mark. Um, thank you.